Hi there folks. In this video we're going to show you how to take a factory shotgun shell box like this or like this and repurpose it into a kind of a custom blank box. I'm going to tell you right off the top that this is not my idea. One of the guys at the club had done this and I thought it was kind of a neat little idea for those moments when you're bored and you're looking for something to do. So I stole his idea. So Ben, if you're watching this video, I, you know, I'm sharing your idea with the world. It's not mine though. Anyway, these boxes come in a couple of different uh, styles or formats. These federal boxes, they have a seam here that's glued and they have the bottom flap glued on right here. The Remington boxes are a little different. They have uh, folded over flaps on both the top and the bottom and they only have one glued seam which is right here. So basically all we're going to do is sort of disassemble the box, cut the seams off and after we've done that we will reassemble it with some hot glue. So you can see the bottom flap there. And I'm going to take a knife and try to get in behind the seam of the box and cut through the hot glue. And this is uh, one of those things that you have to be kind of careful with because you can cut the box completely apart without much uh, extra effort. But if you're careful you can cut only the glue and you'll end up with a, a box which is usable afterwards. And it's good to have a fairly good sized knife so you can get in behind all those seams. You can see there's one glued seam cut off. Not the most tidy job in the world. And then we'll cut the side seam, the second seam here. Get our knife in behind uh, that one as well. And try not to cut our fingers off in the process. There we go. As you can see, these boxes were assembled with a little bit of glue on each of these seams. It helps to take the, any loose parts off because that will compromise the strength if you leave that on there. So we'll get the, uh, these stray pieces off the bottom here as well. And of course we need a way to glue these back together. So what I'm going to use in the way of glue is a hot glue gun. These are a pretty cheap thing. You can buy them pretty much any hardware, department store, craft store, and so forth. And they just plug into the uh, wall socket and of course you'll need some glue sticks. I've had these for a long time. It's a good chance to use some of these up. This has been plugged in. It's been heating up a bit. So while we're almost ready to go here we have to re-bend the cardboard. So we'll turn the box around on the old seams and once we've got the thing turned inside out you can see where the uh, old seam was. We're basically going to be gluing it just inside out. So I'm going to put a bead of glue along that flap there. It's a little hard to do around a camera tripod. Anyway, we'll uh, see if we can do this and keep it in the, uh, the viewfinder. So we'll put down a bead of glue, not too much, but enough hopefully. And while it's still warm, we'll turn the box inside out and try to line it up square and fold the seam over and hold it in place, squish it over, squish that glue in and hold it in place. Put some pressure on it there while it sets. And the nice thing about hot glue is that as soon as it cools off it's hardened. So it only takes a few seconds for it to take a pretty good hold. Now we've got the side seam complete. And we'll fold these two little tabs that are on the bottom of the box over. And then the bottom flap. Fold that over. I'm going to do this a little differently. Uh, on the original box this would have been glued on the outside. But that uh, looks a little messy so I'm going to glue it actually on the inside. And that will hide all this uh, old glue. You can cut this off if you want to, or you can leave it in place. It really doesn't make a lot of difference either way. I'll cut that off. So we'll put a bead of glue along that one as well. And then we'll just tuck this inside. 
I'll get my fingers in the glue there a bit. Like I said, it's hard to do this around the camera. Yeah, get my fingers in the glue. And then kind of press it down from the inside to get that flap down good and tight. And then we'll refold the top flaps over. And there you go, you've got a blank box to print on as you will. So if you've worked up some uh, custom ammunition here, some buckshot loads or something like that, you'll have a nice blank box to print all your info on. And it only takes a few seconds to do these, they're really fairly quick to do. These uh, Remington style boxes that only have one seam are even quicker to do because you only have to break down and glue the one seam instead of two. So it might not be, uh, you know, the most exciting job to do, but it's, it's quick. And if you want some blank boxes, you know, it's a better way than paying, uh, I think I looked on Ballistics products, I think they wanted five or six dollars for ten uh, blank boxes, These uh, the fold up cardboard boxes. So uh, definitely a lot cheaper way to go than, uh, than buying boxes. So these, like I said, are the same thing as the Federal boxes only with one seam instead of two. Now I don't think I'm going to bother doing this for all my shotgun reloads because I do shoot quite a bit. But it will be nice to have a few of these boxes around for buckshot loads and uh, slug loads and that sort of thing. You can see that this is being the Remington box, we don't have to glue the bottom up. They have these full flaps on the bottom and these tabs, so they can be folded back over like that. And they're pretty much ready to use as soon as you are finished gluing them because the hot glue sets up pretty fast. So there you go. Um, a quick and easy way to make some sort of custom blank shotgun shell boxes. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later.